You may recognize these tiny flies. Leave some fruit lying around and they quickly appear. These are fruit flies. Most of us consider these tiny insects to be a nuisance, but you may be surprised to learn that these common insects played a key role in one of the most important discoveries of the 20th century. A discovery that revealed an important fact about inherited traits and resulted in a Nobel Prize for its author, T. H. Morgan. In 1910, Morgan was working on one of the great mysteries of the day. How are traits, like eye color, passed from one generation of living things to the next? Here in the early 21st century, this question has been answered. We have a sophisticated understanding of genetics. But in 1910, there was much uncertainty about the details of inheritance. Morgan worked at Columbia University. His investigations focused on ideas developed by the 19th century monk Gregor Mendel. Mendel had spent years studying inherited traits in common peas. Traits like flower color and the structure of seeds. Patiently growing peas and controlling pollination, he demonstrated that there was a pattern to inheritance, a pattern that suggested traits were not a blend of traits from the parents, but in fact a distinct inheritance of a specific trait, a novel idea. Mendel had discovered genes, but his discovery was largely ignored. By the early 1900s, some scientists were revisiting Mendel's ideas, Morgan among them. One of the frustrations with studying inheritance is the long time it takes to produce a new generation of most living things. Human beings have a gestation period of nine months, an elephant almost two years, and even peas can take months to mature, meaning it takes years to study a meaningful number of generations. Morgan needed a subject for his investigations that would quickly produce new generations. He settled on the fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster. The life cycle of this tiny red-eyed fly, from egg to adult, can take as little as 10 days, an ideal candidate for studying inheritance. Morgan needed to identify unique traits or mutations among the population of fruit flies, mutations that could be tracked through generations. Heritable traits were hard to find. The team spent years looking at everything from subtle differences in wing shape to the location of body hair. In 1910, a dramatic mutation appeared. Walking among the colony of red-eyed flies was a white-eyed male. The single male fruit fly became the main player in one of the most important genetics experiments of the 20th century. The male Drosophila can be distinguished from the female by the very dark tip of its abdomen and the black comb on its front legs. The team in the fly lab at Columbia mated this white-eyed male with a red-eyed female. Interestingly, the first generation of offspring from this mating all had red eyes. The white-eyed trait had disappeared. Morgan suspected that the trait had not actually disappeared because Mendel had demonstrated that some traits are recessive and will reappear in a subsequent generation. Mating male and female flies from this first generation confirmed Morgan's suspicion. Approximately one half of the male flies of this second generation had white eyes, but only the males. All the female flies had red eyes. Morgan had a theory about these results. About the same time that he was doing his work, other scientists had established the presence of X and Y chromosomes, chromosomes responsible for sex determination. Females carry two X chromosomes, male one X and one Y. Morgan proposed that a gene responsible for eye color was carried on the X chromosome, with the gene for red eyes being dominant and the gene for white eyes recessive. The mutant white-eyed male with a single X chromosome carried the recessive gene for white eyes. His Y chromosome had no control over eye color, so this male has white eyes. 
Scientists call the pure red-eyed Drosophila a wild type. When the white-eyed male mates with a wild type female, there are four possible outcomes. You may remember from high school biology the possible combinations of chromosome sharing as represented by this diagram, called a Punnett square. Let's look at mating a white-eyed male with a red-eyed wild type female. This represents our white-eyed male with an X and Y chromosome. The X carries the recessive white-eyed trait, indicated by the lowercase w. The Y chromosome has no effect on eye color. This represents the red-eyed wild-type female. She carries two X chromosomes. Both carry the dominant red-eyed trait, as represented by the uppercase R. Let's start combining chromosomes. This combination produces this. This combination this. Then this one. And finally this. Note that every combination carries at least one dominant red-eyed gene. The white-eyed gene is repressed. All of this first generation will have red eyes. This is what Morgan observed. Note that both females on this diagram carry a recessive gene for white eyes. We will label this generation F1. Our Punnett square shows four flies, but there will actually be numerous flies in this F1 generation. The female Drosophila lays hundreds of eggs. Let's look at mating a red-eyed male with a red-eyed female, both from this first generation, F1. The Punnett square looks like this. Remember the female flies from F1 each carry the recessive white-eyed trait on one of their X chromosomes. This time the white-eyed trait returned in one half of the male flies. Mating a white-eyed male fly with one of the females from the first or F1 generation results in white-eyed females. I'll let you finish the Punnett square to confirm that. Discovering the relationship between the X and Y chromosomes and inherited traits is a pivotal discovery. Among other things, it explains why the prevalence of some diseases or disorders is different for men and women. Traits like color blindness and afflictions like hemophilia are tied to genes on the X chromosome. In 1933, Morgan was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology. The award read, for his discoveries concerning the role played by the chromosome in heredity. If you're interested in attempting to replicate Morgan's experiment, view our video, Morgan's Experiment, for some ideas on how to proceed with this investigation at home. For more science and technology videos and projects, visit our website, hyloroad.com.